This is part two of my intuitive reading for 2013. Um, I'm going to have to hold the camera, so bear with me. Okay, so I've laid out 12 cards to represent each month for 2013. Uh, the first six months I've used uh, the Psychic Tarot by John Holland and the second six months for the second half of the year are the Angel Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. So I chose really um, high vibrational cards to use for this reading. Okay, so for the first month here we have January and what a beautiful way to start a new year with hope. And there is this gift of, uh, of light and it really um, calls to me and um, I see the sun image there and I know that the sun is a powerful source of light and I know that um, there is so much more sacred meaning to the sun and it has been revered by the ancients. Um, and I think that we are heading towards understanding this more. So they give us this gift and they are reminding us right now that we have this light, we have this sun inside ourselves. If we can just visualize the sun expanding from inside us outwards into a bubble of light, of safety and protection. Um, and it is this beautiful gift that they are giving us. Um, they're saying that there is hope to believe in that. It's a beautiful way to start this year. Then for February, we have the crown chakra here. And the crown chakra is um, just above our head and it represents um, universal knowledge um, and receiving uh, information uh, psychically or through our crown chakra. And it is really telling me right now that um, it is a reminder of the ascension process and that many of us are awakening and we're like a little seed. I think in the middle there, it is making me think right now of a little seed that is expanding, like a, like a ball of light. And as you see, it's expanding. We have the circle here, this inner matrix of patterns, which I know is very representational, but also this outer circle of light. So if you could visualize, again, the sense of expanding outwards. And if you picture this as yourself, in the middle and now this is the world this is what the angels are telling me right now the globe and this is the universe the outer universe and it is like the microcosm and the macrocosm um, but it's also you can invert it it's um, very hard to explain but um, if you could perhaps meditate on that idea uh, yourself Okay, and we, it's a number seven card, so um, that is, you know, the steps to heaven. We have one seven here, um, and it also seven is also the number of um, our life path as well. So these numbers are a, a beautiful start to the year. Then for March, we have this card here, uh, positive movement forward, and we have this person and um, this individual and there's very much a sense of the self being alone so your own journey so this really um, brings into mind where you need to go in your life as you sail forward and I know March which has already been um, was a very um, difficult time for a lot of people a lot of emotional things came up to the surface uh, and we have the sea here representing that surface and you sailing and gliding along and the sun again Look, if you see the two suns together here in these two cards, and also the, the circle shape, um, there's a lot to be said in that. Um, so uh, what it is saying is to, to keep your thoughts positive as you move forward, and I think that you can start to do that on your journey now. And it is about your own journey, even though you were surrounded by other people. Okay, and then for April, we have this card foundation and achievements this is about looking back to where you've been um, and the number four represents the angels um, there is also the sense of in this card of um, of uh, things that you have um, done in your life things that you have achieved th things that and also just your past in general and looking back on that and this month is uh, april which is actually the month i'm making this video is about um 
looking back and with a sense of closure because if you've learned the lessons, if you've gone through the pain and if you've worked on all the spiritual things that you need to, um, you will be able to look at things in a, in a fresh new light and the rainbow energy is there for you showing that there is much healing and, and magic in this. So it's about saying goodbye to something from uh, that no longer serves you as well before you uh, take the next step. Okay, then for May, I think I need to get up here. Before we continue on to May, I want to take a look back at the January card as something just caught my attention. Inside the sun we have a figure here, it's the first time I've ever noticed it. So for me it, it's representing awakening and seeing the light. Waking up to the new dawn, seeing, feeling and experiencing a new sense of expansiveness, entering a new reality, rebirthing into a new day and a new way of being. So it is significant that it is the first card for the year and I feel it carries through for all of 2013. Um, and it is also very eternal, this message. And again, it signifies hope. So now we have May and the card is actually Spiritual Union here but I've brought next to it this card which I talked about in my part one video and this card is about unity, togetherness and partnerships and they go well together. It's actually number one and two. They have green borders representing emotions and healing. So there is a sense of flow from love beginning to forming a unionship and there's a spiritual union of the higher self or spirit with oneself. Also the unity or dual aspects of the masculine and feminine uh, and also twin flame aspects for some people. For some it might represent a romantic partnership for others uh, business perhaps or friendships or family so there is some kind of partnership one way or another and the next card is material harvest for June and it is a beautiful prosperous card that brings a sense of abundance that your um, the fruits of your labors are all coming together now and I feel that you're coming out of the shadows and into the light. You're able to see more clearly, build a foundation for yourself. So it is saying to uh, pray and form positive intentions for what you desire and express your gratitude for what you already have. There is a lot of healing energy around this card. I'm feeling Archangel Raphael stepping forward. Uh, to help us heal issues of money uh, and also physical and emotional healing and also a reminder to eat fresh fruit and vegetables. So for the next month in July I have this card here and um, there are two figures coming together again just like the May card. And it's really representing, um, in this case, a sense of butting heads. For some there might be a union ship, but I feel that there is a sense of crossroads or a pause or a stalemate. It could represent that there be a disagreement or fight or someone not seeing your point of view. So stand your ground, keep the light and the truth as your focus and the rest will take care of itself. It's also a reminder not to get swayed by others or their energy. For August, this card continues the idea of prosperity and growth that we had in June. You will be rewarded and there's a sense of balance or rather that there's more abundance than lack otherwise balance. So you may receive gifts of money, time, uh, tax refunds because in June is often the end of the year for tax. So uh, that was the beginning of prosperity so that's coming to fruition now for you. Uh, you might get a loan or pay off debts. 
So quite a positive card that um, is really, really fertile. So a really great fertile month. So the next month in September, there is a mermaid figure here. And he holds his ground so strongly there in the image. So he's not letting anyone affect him at all. No one is going to step on his toes. So this is about staying strong and holding your energy together. Um, so this is about making sure your energy field is clear and you are not swayed by others. Um, if you like, you can have a look at my meditation called Deep Healing Water Meditation, which is a video to help cleanse your aura. Um, but this card is also about respect, self-respect and gaining respect from others. You might be recognized also as being a trustworthy person, uh, compassionate or wise with advice, or someone like that might actually be coming into your life. And for October, we have the moon. So a lot is happening this month with your intuition. You will be able to receive more psychic information and gain a greater awareness. You might be feeling things happening behind the scenes. I feel there might be some stirrings of energy actually or something in the air which sensitives or attuned people will be able to feel or decipher. So again, work on your intuition and harnessing your psychic strength. You might have moments of pause where you think, hmm, what's going on? So if that happens, listen to spirit and listen to your heart. Go inwards. It's also a time to let go of any fears as you are about to step forward through a new gateway. And some of you might have just come out of a gateway. And now we have November. And here there is a card again representing a powerful month. Doesn't, I'm just trying to make it a bit clearer for you to see. Is that better? No, not really. It doesn't matter. Okay, so this is about um, reviewing where you have come to this point. It's about recognizing the sum of your life experience. And you may have revelations, epiphanies, insights or visions and they lead to powerful change. Uh, and this is coming through in the strong uh, flowers in the foreground there. So you can start to really spread your wings as you enter a new journey. And for December, the last card for 2013, we have here the unicorns and they represent purity and truth. This month, watch your thoughts and remember what you think does manifest into form. So don't let fear become a recipe that is fulfilled, but rather let light guide your way. You might actually feel like a beacon of light uh, while others are sleeping or seem to be not awake at all. Know that everyone awakens in their own time. And if you feel isolated, different or sensitive, know that you are a unique expression, a divine being. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, I wish you all a healthy, happy, prosperous, healing, magical year of expansion, awakening and growth. Uh, you can visit my website which is written below the video, www.nataliacorner.com, along with my social media details. And I also have a free monthly newsletter, which I give intuitive uh, angel messages and articles. It's called Awakening Spirit. So the links are all below as well as uh, for my services. Thank you so much. Namaste and God bless you this year.